Hi friends, this is uh, George. Um, this is the instructional video for Poems, Prayers, and Promises by John Nimber. Um, this video, because of the uh, detail that I'm going to be showing, it's going to be broken into three videos. This one, the first one, will cover the intro, the instrumental, and the middle of the song and the outro. And uh, second one will cover the verses, third one will cover the um, the chorus, and uh, I'm going to put a, put together a fourth video to show a simplified picking pattern, some variations on the song, and uh, anything that might help. So anyway, um, because of the details that I'll be showing, I won't be able to show you how to play the basic chords, D, A, 7th, whatnot. There will be some variations, because the uh, song is in drop D tuning. That means I'm in standard pitch, but the sixth string is tuned down to one octave below the fourth string, the D. Bring it down below, and then bring it up to pitch. And you can check that with the harmonic at the fifth fret on the sixth string, and then match that to the fourth string at the twelfth fret. It should be the same pitch. During the intro, your thumb will be um, alternating between the 6th and the 4th string continuously. Um, the index finger will be playing the 3rd uh, string and sometimes the 2nd string. And then your middle finger, 2nd finger, will be playing the 2nd string and 1st string. And uh, what I'm going to do and what I've done is... As an example, this isn't true tablature, but what I've done is for reference for me so I can convey the strings to you easily. I've written, written down a modified tablature that shows the bottom line with the 6-4, six, 6-4, four, six, four, six, four. That's the bass line played with your thumb. The top line in sequence is played with your first and second finger, the treble strings. So if you write down the string numbers that I call out in that fashion, that will help a lot. Or if you'd like a copy of that, just let me know and I'll be happy to email it to you. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the best thing you can do is kind of loosen your hands up, just relax your hands. Uh, it'll make it so much easier to pick. So just try and relax. Um, we'll start at the 10th fret, then we'll move to a second section at the 5th fret and then uh, down to the third fret. So you want to fret the first string at the tenth fret with your ring finger. And what you're going to do is pinch or um, pick the first two, or the sixth and the first string together. Like that. Right after that, you're going to hit the fourth string with your thumb. And you want to drop down to the ninth fret with your, ring, or your middle finger and then pinch 6 and 1 again together, and then hammer on to the 10th fret on that first string. So it sounds like this. And then after that, you're going to hit strings 4, 1, 6, 2, 4, 6 and 2 at the same time, and then end with 4. Those notes on the first two strings. On the first string, it's... Uh, it's the 10th fret, drop down to the 7th fret, and then on the 2nd string up on the 10th fret, and then 2nd string down to the 7th fret. So it's like that. And in between that, you're hitting, you're alternating your, your thumb on 6 and 4. So that sequence, I'll play it very slowly, sounds like this. slower. And on that fourth string. Okay, then you drop down to the fifth fret. Leave your index finger on that se second string. Drop down to the fifth fret. 
and you're going to pinch six and two at the same time and hammer on to a seventh. Right after that, you hit strings four, one, six, two, four, three. And when you do that, and then before you hit that first string, you want to take your index finger, place it on the first string fifth fret, and then hold that position throughout this section. So it sounds like this. That last string, that third string, does sound a little out of place, but it is in there. You'll see how it works out. Again, real slow. And you drop down to the third position, and you want to uh, fret the second string at the third fret. doesn't matter if you use any one of these three fingers. I usually use index finger. And you want to pinch six and two at the same time, and then you want to pull off um, that second string. Doesn't matter if you pull off down or pull up. I think John usually pulled up, but I usually pull down. Anyway, you pull off and then you hit strings four, or excuse me, yeah, six and two, four, three, and then end on your sixth string. So it sounds like this. Again. And that's where it ends. Um, uh, it starts into the uh, verse after that. Um, it's like that for the intro and the instrumental in the middle of the song. Now the outro is the same thing. The only difference is when you hit that last string, you actually want to hit six and one at the same time and hammer onto the when you hit that six and one, you want that first string to be open. And then when you hit that, you want to hammer onto the second fret on that first string. So it would sound like this. Again. So the whole thing, I'll play both of them through slowly. on the outro, or intro and in the instrumental. Here's the outro. So on that, in, at the, at the uh, outro, when you pull off and then you hit four and three, you want to make your D shape right away. play at full speed. Okay, I think that does it for the uh, um, first video for the intro, instrumental, and outro to Poems, Prayers, and Promises. Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to send me a message. Um, I'll help you out in any way I can. If you need copies of my modified tablature, I'll be happy to send that to you. Anyway, happy picking, and uh, stay tuned to the other videos. Thanks.